So here I've got my Toshiba satellite laptop, and now you might notice it's in need of a little upgrade. Well, luckily for it, we've got Windows 7 lined up for it today, and I'm going to be installing it on this computer on January 14th, 2020. Let's do it. So as you can see here, this laptop's running Windows Vista. Ooh, unfortunate. Um, funny enough, the uh, laptop was designed for Windows 7. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. A little experimentation gone wrong, perhaps. But all of that doesn't matter right now because we got Windows 7 Home Premium, and I'm going to install that on this laptop. I'm not going to install it over Windows Vista, though. I've got... A nice fresh SSD lined up for it right here still in the bag and I'm gonna slot that thing into this laptop and it's gonna be good as new all right out comes the old hard drive old original hard drive there 500 gigabytes put that up there and here's the new SSD oh, that's nice right there Look at that. just just slot that thing in there Perfect. Oh, that's nice right there. Okay, so I've got the SSD installed, and uh, let's take a look at this Windows 7 box. So first of all, uh, I bought this secondhand on eBay, and uh, whoever owned this before they obviously didn't like Windows 7 too much. Um, but anyway, it says, which Windows 7 is best for you? Uh, I hope you can see this. Let's see, we got Home Premium here, of course. I didn't get Professional or Ultimate. This laptop originally came with Home Premium. Um, so it says, makes the things you do every day easier with improved, improved desktop navigation. Home Premium, Professional, and Ultimate had that feature. Uh, faster and easier to launch programs. Uh, make your web experience faster, easier, and safer than ever with Internet Explorer 8. Mm, uh, watch many of your favorite TV shows for free when and where you want with Internet TV. Uh, okay, uh, anyway, easy to create a home network and connect your PCs to a printer with Home Group. Run many Windows XP productivity applications in Windows XP mode. Uh, that's not in Home Premium, that's in the, the other ones. Uh, I don't think I really ever used any of these special features that they advertise, and besides makes the things you do every day easier with improved desktop navigation which we will get to later in the video let's see what else we got here in this box got the uh, DVD there and uh, I won't show my product key on picture or on camera but it would be right there this thing is really messed up though anyway the booklet's in good shape though welcome to your PC simplified um, yeah, so I, in my opinion, Windows 7 is still the best version of Windows. I'm going to get to that once we have it installed, but now we'll just flip through this really quick. There's the uh, start menu. It's, uh, they've got a lot of pictures and stuff in here showing you what you can do. There's the little, uh, the little music that Windows 7 came with, I'm sure. Any of you that have used Windows 7 at some point are familiar with that. Um, there's a very sleek and shiny laptop with Windows 7 showing the um, arrow peak functionality. Um, got all kinds of other stuff. Right, so let's get to installing this. Let's insert this on Windows 7. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, look at that. Let's insert the disk and see pretty clean, pretty clean. All right, put that in there. There it is. Okay, let's see what happens. Mamma mia.
got to select that date. It's not January 1st, 2010. It is, of course, 20. Oh boy, 2020. There it is, January. And today is January the 14th, 2020. All right, so five hours later. It's not the greatest weather, as you can probably hear. Um, but I finally got this thing uh, connected to the internet and activated. Let's see. You can see here the uh, name of this file here. Yeah. That's a little screenshot I did there before I was able to get some drivers installed for this thing. That was, that was uh, not exactly what I would call fun, but you know, everybody has their own definitions of words these days, so who knows. Anyway, the biggest reason I think Windows 7 will continue to be used for years to come is because I believe that it's the most user-friendly version of Windows to date. And that's because of this control panel here. Have you ever wanted to adjust a setting in Windows 10? Where did you go? Did you go to, you know, when you go to the uh, start menu and they have settings there and it brings up this really general menu and it's uh, so dumbed down that, you know, a three-year-old could use it? It's just, sometimes that just doesn't have what you need. Just very basic stuff. I could go into it, but you probably already know what I'm talking about if you've used Windows 10. Um, Windows 7 had a very comprehensive control panel, and Windows 10 still has the same control panel. All of this stuff down to exactly the way it looks here. But they try to hide it away, and they have this kind of just... Um, facade put over it of this Windows 10 settings um, dumbed down, simplified uh, Mac Mac user type stuff. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying stuff like that. Um, this is why I think Windows 7 is the best because uh, it's user friendly. Not only is it easy to use if you're just a casual, basic user of it, but it also has more advanced settings, comprehensive settings that you can go into. So, you know, if I wanted to, uh, oh, I don't know, sound is always the biggest one. Sound. Manage audio devices. This is a window that I looked for forever when I first installed Windows 10 and used it for the first time. This was something I could not find. You have to go to the old style control panel in Windows 10 to find it. In Windows 7, you just went to the regular control panel. That uh, it's the only control panel that's in here. The only settings. So you know. Also, you could. I know that you can just go here and go. Recording devices. That's usually where I have to go. Microphone. I'm gonna just plug in a new microphone. It doesn't recognize it. Got to go in. Got to find that setting. Well, Windows 7 is a lot easier. Just go down there. You know exactly how to do it. Windows 10, I know how to do it now, but there's a few more steps to take. So that's why I think Windows 7 is the best version um, of Windows, really. I mean, I love Windows XP, um, but Windows 7 right now, as of now, is the best balance that they have between modern and usable. You know, Windows 7 obviously it was su supported up until yesterday, so everything is pretty current. As far as Chrome, this is 79. Chrome 79, I just downloaded it, obviously, because I just installed this on camera. Everything works perfectly fine on this. There's a really good video I found on YouTube. You should probably go and check this out. You know, we can go full screen. If you are planning on using Windows 7 in the future, there's of course a few things to keep in mind. Some of them are pretty obvious. You don't have security protection from Microsoft. You don't have the latest security fixes. Um, you are a little bit more at risk than, say, a user of Windows 8 or Windows 10. Um, I always have to kind of think for a second. Wait a second. There is. There's something between Windows 7 and Windows 10. Windows 9? No, that wasn't it. It's Windows 8. That's right. Anyway, does this mean that you can't use Windows 7 in 2020 at all whatsoever? No, it doesn't, of course. And I said this, I believe, in my Windows XP video. I hope I said it. 
because uh, that was pretty much my main point of making that video. To use Windows 7 in 2020, you have to not be an idiot. Uh, I believe that's how I phrased it in the Windows XP video. Basically, don't go to um, softtonic.com and download, uh, you know, hotbabes.mp4.exe. Don't go to uh, coolsoftware.biz. Don't go to um, softwaredownloadfree.net. Um, don't download shady files. Basically, if you're just going, you're doing casual browsing, you know, YouTube, obviously, look. YouTube isn't going to give you a virus. And Google, Facebook, there. See, if Google works fine. We can go to Facebook, and, you know, I could sign up for Facebook if I wanted to do that. Just general, popular, um, well-known websites are not going to give you a virus. Uh, you can use those all day long on Windows Vista, on Windows XP, uh, whatever you want to use it on. Windows 7 now that it's unsupported um, is still going to work perfectly fine. You just got to remember that you don't have that advanced uh, virus protection unless you buy, of course, an antivirus that still supports it. Um, I haven't looked that up, but I'm sure that most of the major antivirus programs are still supporting Windows 7 for at least a little while. But, but going forward years from now, just like Windows XP, uh, just know your limits, don't do anything stupid, and uh, you'll be fine. So this is mostly just kind of a fun video I wanted to make here on the support deadline for Windows 7, uh, installing and using Windows 7. Uh, don't connect to uh, public networks. Just connect to your home network. You want to take this to McDonald's or whatever. And uh, don't go to funny download websites. And uh, just don't be an idiot. Just use the computer for simple stuff. You can still get by with Windows 7 just fine. Um, so, thanks for watching, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, I need to get a battery for this laptop so I can take it somewhere and use it inappropriately. As I've just advised you not to do. But I'm an idiot. You you don't need to be an idiot. So don't be an idiot and install Windows 10. Just use Windows 10. Why are you watching this? You can get Windows 10 license for what? Three dollars on eBay? Well, why don't they just install Windows 10? I mean, So Windows 10, um, is this going to pop this up while I'm editing this video? Uh, okay. Sure. And I guess it's on to me. Um, yeah. Okay.